The agricultural district is certainly coming on an absolute treat now, but I think for today we will maybe stray away from the agricultural district and look into maybe setting up a new one. Maybe the industry district? Seeing as all of these builds are fairly easy to make, but then again they are only really at tier 1 or tier 2. I could really be doing with a bit of automation now and having our colony start making some parts for us. Especially if we are wanting to upgrade these builds to tier 3 and above and then add in even more different type of builds with different type of styles. I really don't want to make all of those parts by myself. So yes, let's get some more automation in and let's maybe start establishing the industry district. Now, unlike the agricultural district, where I always wanted it to be around the lake that we have over there, I don't really have a good place yet for an industry district. Looking at our colony from the world map, we do have quite a bit of space here, quite a lot of flat space here, which could potentially do. So for starters, we will definitely place in a sawmill. We will also get ourselves the stonemason's hut, which will require the stone cake research, which requires the mine being at least tier 3, which we have, alongside 64 chiseled stone bricks, which we also now have. So that is everything then for the stone cake recipe to unlock the stonemason. We will also place down a blacksmith hut, which will require the hitting iron research, which required the mine being tier 3 again, alongside one anvil. And the anvil is simple enough, so we will also unlock the hitting iron research for the blacksmith. We've already unlocked the research for the smeltery build, which is fairly simple to make, so there's one of those builds for us. And while we're at it, we may as well make the stone smeltery build, which we can then place down after we unlock the research for it. As well as the blacksmith's hut, same story for it. Once we unlock and construct the stonemason's hut, we should then be able to go for the rocking roll research to unlock the crusher's hut. And once we construct the sawmill, we should then be able to go for string work to unlock the fletcher's hut. And we could go for the sieving research here as well to unlock the sifter's hut, but this will require the fisher's hut totaling at least 3 levels. And seeing as the fisherman's hut here is only at tier 1, we will need to come and upgrade this immediately then to tier 2 and then to tier 3. If we place down the smeltery build and upgrade it to tier 3, we can go for the flintstones research to unlock the stone smeltery, as well as those lungs to unlock the glassblower's hut. And once we unlock, construct and upgrade the blacksmith's hut, we can eventually go for what you need, and this will unlock the mechanic's hut. So definitely quite a lot of builds for the industry district here, which will unfortunately require a few builds before it being constructed and upgraded. So let's make a start with things then, and choose these builds a style. Which the sawmill build is going to be of a true dwarven style, the smeltery build is going to be of a medieval oak alternative style, the stone smeltery build is going to be of a warped style and the blacksmith's hut is going to be of a medieval birch alternative style. This is a tier 5 true dwarven style sawmill which looks really quite normal actually. Quite a nice looking build. There is not a medieval oak alternative style to the smeltery build, so this is a normal medieval oak style at tier 5. Again, a fairly normal looking build. This is a tier 5 warped stone smeltery build, and 
I'm fairly used to this build actually, and know it's fairly simple to make. Of course, just a lot of nether based items. And similar to the medieval oak alternative, there is no medieval birch alternative to the blacksmith's hut here. So this is just simply a medieval birch style. And you know what I'm going to say, nice and normal and not bad looking at all. Well, we have the styles now, just to find them a home to place them in, which I really don't have any idea where to place them at the moment. I'm not entirely sure how this district is eventually going to look. So let's maybe just temporarily place them down for now and we can find them a better home at another point uh, should we wish. We will set the True Dwarven style sawmill just here I think, not too badly placed. And I think Koa will come out and construct that for us. Right beside it we will place in the medieval oak smeltery build. This is it here at tier 1. Again not too badly placed so we will go ahead with that and maybe get Alana then out to construct this for us, or Elena, whatever her name is. Just a little bit further up the hill, and I think we will place down the warp style smeltery build. This is it then at tier 1. We will place it here, I think. This is the stone smeltery build, sorry. It is kind of close to a little bit of a chasm here, but not too much, so I think that might not be too bad of a place for it. And we will go with that once we have unlocked the research for it. And it's the same story for the medieval birch blacksmith's hut, which we will place right beside the warp style there. Probably could be better placed here, but we will worry about that after we get the research unlocked for it. So far, with the way these builds have been placed here, they are more or less in a straight line all the way down, so we could get some infrastructure then take you up and go past them all here, which could work. Maybe this industry district could just be one straight line. Although, like the agricultural district and all other districts that we eventually put in, I would eventually like to put in just more than these builds. We will get up other builds such as a warehouse, hospital, restaurant, all of that other fancy stuff that our citizens like, just to make this district its own type of entity. But we will worry about that in time. I will still need to place down some guard towers and houses for these builds as well here. But for now, let's assist the builders getting these things constructed. Koa is out constructing the sawmill for us and is making some absolute tremendous progress with it. Well done, son. Elena has picked up the Fisher's Build Hut and is already 95% supplied with it. Just awaiting in a few more items here. And Riley is upgrading a house for us at the moment, although there is nothing here in the resource scroll, which suggests to me that she is maybe requesting some items, which I will get for her in the morning. Yes, she is looking for a campfire alongside some wheat extra shingles which are both items that I can teach to the sawmill once it's up, so I will hold off on getting her those items at the moment until we do get this constructed. And seeing the items for the sawmill here, there is just a lot of oak items, and that's pretty much it. So I will head very quickly into the warehouse here and make those items then for Koa, so we can get this up and constructed ASAP. And that should then be everything that Koa will require for the sawmill. Alena is not requesting in the last dark oak items for her build at the moment, which suggests that she's maybe getting a delivery of them in. 
She's getting some stripped dark oak wood from the lumberjack, who I did see was awaiting in an axe, so he will not be making that at the moment until I give him one. But now that he does have the axe, he can strip that wood, and then Elena can start requesting those other dark oak items that she will need. Which I may as well just get for her whilst I'm here. So that is now Elena 100% supplied for her Fisher's Belt upgrade as well. Okay then Koa, I have seen that we have made quite good progress here. I think we are already 20% done with this, which is grand. So the sawmill will be up and ready for us very very shortly. But I think that Elena is definitely going to have the Fisherman's Hunt here upgraded to tier 2 before Koa completes the sawmill, seeing as we are now 60% done with this. Good job pal, I think once you have constructed this, unless you pick up one of those new industry district builds, I will get you straight back out here and upgrading this to tier 3. Even though we are upgrading and placing down a lot of new builds at the moment, I still haven't yet gotten a type post research to increase our overall population cap. We do now finally have in the required amount of steak in order for me to get it, but I will just need to wait on those current researches being complete first before we can then go for that. I know that Riley has completed the composter's hut in here, which is grand, so whenever we do get in some new workers, then we can have someone come in here and tend to this for us. If they can use ladders, which I certainly can't. And once we start upgrading this build, then we can go for other builds for the agricultural district, such as the plantation, alongside florist build. This is clearly the house here that Riley is working on at the moment, so yep, this will definitely take a moment before it's up. And I believe she has also constructed a wooden style guards tower in here as well, so that's good. We don't have any available workers to be a guard in it at the moment, but we'll get there with it. And that's Elena just finished with the Fisherman's upgrade to tier 2 there. Good job pal. Let's get you coming out and upgrading this to tier 3 next so we can go for the sifter research. Which we'll just need to wait because she has picked up the smeltery build. Although that's a researcher's just made a breakthrough. They now understand stone cake which is the stone mason's build that we can now construct. Perfect. I'm hoping that our couriers have delivered me some steak here, uh, which they haven't really. So it's a good job that I have cooked down so much of it of my own here at least. And just as I'm coming over to the university to unlock that research, they have made yet another breakthrough and now understand hitting iron. Which means we can now come and construct the blacksmith's hut which is great. And what's even better is we have everything for outpost so we will get some workers into the colony to actually fill these positions. And that's Elena out here hard at work constructing the smeltery which is grand. I know there is a few wooden items that go towards this build, which I will hold off on making just until we get the sawmill up and operational and it can then make it for us. I've just realised that I have constructed the wrong hut. I was supposed to make the stone mason's hut, not the stone smeltery's hut. It was the stone mason's hut research that we just unlocked. That's alright, we will get this build a style as well and get everything constructed eventually. So this one is going to be made of a medieval dark oak alternative style. Which once again, we don't have an alternative style to it, so this is just simply medieval dark oak. And another normal building. All of the industry district is going to look so plain and boring compared to the rest of these places. Oh well, at least it will be functional. 
and we will place the stonemason's hut just down the hill from the sawmill in this little area here. So now that we have it unlocked, we can just simply come into it and actually construct it. And that will then be all of our wood and our stone materials then taken care for us, which will be perfect. And that's the sawmill just being completed there. Good job Koa, now we can get some wood automated for us. If we had a worker inside of it, of course. You know what? We have a few spare guards around. Let's maybe fire Leighton here. And then just rehire him here in the sawmill. So congratulations Leighton. You are now our carpenter. And I have some recipes here that I need to teach you. Starting off with some oak stairs. Which is what Elena is currently waiting on. So there. Now you know how to make those. Although I reckon you will also need to know how to turn an oak log into some planks for that and then you can get to work. Just like that. Well done Leighton. Now as for these wheat extra shingles for Riley, these are crafted in an architect's cutter supported by spruce planks with a main material of wheat extra. So input one I would assume would be your wheat extra blocks and input two would then be the spruce planks and this is then everything that you can make from that including the wheat extra shingles i don't suppose you then can learn how to make the wheat extra blocks here or is that going to be a baker who can make that or a stone mason um interesting you definitely can't learn that? No. Well, we do have a baker, so they will learn the wheat extra recipe. Or maybe not. Because we need the baker to be up at tier 3 before it can start to learn some recipes. I see. Well, the bakery is at tier 2 and these Incan style builds are usually fairly quick to upgrade, so let's go ahead with that then. Set it for tier 3 upgrade, although that still won't help at the moment with these wheat extra blocks that we need. Okay, I will need to supply that for the moment I suppose. And while I'm here, I will also teach you how to make a campfire, so long as we get in the right materials for this. And also while we're here, let's get your building upgraded to tier 2 as well, so we can teach you some more recipes. And that is really the automation process now fully started here in Disorder, which is absolutely fantastic. A few more builds to get up and constructed here to teach some more recipes too, which we are in the process of doing, so we will get those up eventually. But we still have quite a lot to do here just with establishing this industry district, so we will continue this next time.